What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? We're back here with a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle over here, man. So, yeah, man, this video is tailored towards, you know, global. And, yeah, man, I'm just going to tell you guys, like it says here in the title, you know, why you should be skipping Dokkan Fest Turtles. So, I'm pretty sure you guys already watched, you know, some previous videos and people talk about him and they gave you maybe their pros and cons of the character. But let's just talk about the character themselves, just like on JP. You guys see me. I did manage to pull the new T.O.P. Androids, but I did give you guys my uh, honest opinion about them and why you should skip them. Um, you know, as my main thing, I didn't want to pay play like a, a neutral approach. I told you guys what advice you can take, but, you know, ultimately. The decision will be yours anyway. So, yes, let's talk about him. So, of course, with villains, Dokkan just really don't like them at, at, at this time. And um, they're put in these different niches that doesn't mesh with other villains at all. So, mainly with this guy, um, he can be very good if you're fighting against someone who's Goku family. And those are pretty much the only events you want to bring him to. When it comes to anything that's beyond that. If you want to talk about red zone or even some of the other stages, not maybe red zone, if it's, you know, SBR or some other stages and they don't have a Goku family uh, enemy on them. You don't really want to bring this guy because he's not going to bring a lot of utility with his passive or anything else unless he's fighting that particular unit. So he's very uh, situational. So also when it comes to teams. Um, you know, a lot of people are looking for people that can do different things for certain teams, you know, whether it's support or be a slot one or do, do something else, but he can dish out some damage, but that's pretty much it. Now with his skills, he can, like I said, support, but he's not going to be able to do that unless he's going up against a Goku family enemy. Like I said, that's when he can do multiple roles, but he's not Mr. Multi-role. If you're not going up against that Goku family enemy, but also yeah, uh, he raises attack as you can see, and he's not building any defense either. So as we know, with this uh, new way of playing the game, a lot of attack raising units are aged out because they can't take any hits. You know, people get hit with one mil and all this and a whole bunch of other stats, and it's just not going to go well for these uh, units that are not. Building both at least. If he had raised attack and defense, I think that would be a little more better for him for uh, survivability. But even just having him along the new Fusion uh, Zamasu the Tech one, the EZA AGL one, they're not going to really require this unit to really pop off. They can do that on their own with their respective EZAs and new units that came out during Worldwide. So this unit doesn't add to those units. But if you turtle this, it's just... You know your favorite character you just like turtle is you can summon for him now if you're someone like me who who is neutral i don't really summon for everybody i would say yeah i'm gonna skip this person save the next person i'm pretty sure this guy's gonna roll around on some more dokkan fest banners in the future where you'll be able to get him as a side banner unit so i can say if you he had some real utility with the content that's going on right now um, I would say, you know, he'd be a lot useful like, you know, we can use him. But since he can be barely used in a lot of content, you're going to be barely using this character. And I hate for you to summon for a character that you can't even really use and just going to be sitting um, in your box. But these are just some other things here. But yeah, man, this guy is not uh, stacking, like I said, any defense. It's not going to help him. But yeah, like I said, this is the Dokkan Wiki. Uh, shout out to the guys there. But yeah, let's look at the, the turtle's banner. So people on global is uh, I think it's the same as JP. I don't think none change, but you got the, the new duck on fest himself. Uh, this other guy in cacao, uh, Amon and raisin. I think they're decent, um, defensive characters, but if you do get dupes of them, you do want to put them on a uh, full dodge because they're not going to be able to tank a lot of hits for long so even like people have been comparing them to uh the lr vegeta and trunks people consider them like a budget version because vegeta, vegeta and trunks you know they got an active to raise the people defense and they used to held down the slot one for a while until the car the content got a little harder 
But Dokkan Fest Yamcha, I think he's pretty good. People know he's a, a dodge character. So you do want to build him as dodge too. Bardock, we're not going to even get into him. We know he has a scouter and all that, but he's, he's not good at all anymore. Uh, the AGL Turtleist, yeah, he's aged out. And him being on this banner, since they have the same name, you can't use him and the physical turtles together. You can only run one of them at a time. That's a thing Dokkan needs to change. And you know, maybe they can link up in the future if Dokkan changes the name to something else. Bojack, he's just not good. It's, I mean, come on, we're not going to get into that. So pretty much on the banner, I know a lot of people like to point out Yamcha is, is, is decent. But I don't think Yamcha is really more... I would say justify you to summon because even on Yamcha's initial banner, I know a lot of people, you know, skip them. Same thing with Bardock because again, they're only limited in the content that they're going to be able to clear. When you bring them to other content, they're going to be a liability and they're going to get killed. So, you know, you just can't summon for everybody. They're going to have some units down the line where you're going to be able to do it. So I tell people, even if you're not really feeling the banner, you know, it can be some you may not even want to go deep. When I put my androids and I told you guys not to summon, I had nothing but uh, free to play stones to use. So um, I managed to get them in 150 stones. Uh, I remember when Super Boo came out, I told people to skip him too, and I got him off the first multi. So if you really want this unit, I would say just use, you know, maybe a little bit of stones if you can, 100, maybe 150 uh, at most. But this banner don't really have any value for you. So I'm going to show you guys a better banner that's coming up on Global that you guys will eventually get that has a way hyper unit, a unit that is top 10 in the game and has a higher ceiling. This guy is not even near top 10 in the game. I'm not sure even top 20. I can't really think of it right now. But you have a guaranteed top 10 unit in the game that's already been proven, that's already came out on JP, that's already pretty good. And can fit on a lot of teams with other top 10 characters and people in the game. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So here, we're already here to talk about your boy here. I don't think I need to say much for people who play Dokkan. But I'm just using this as a pretext. Maybe if you don't follow any JP uh, content creators or know nothing about JP. Or you go in blind. Whatever the issue is, I'm here to inform you. So... Super Saiyan 4 Goku himself is a top 10 unit. This is undisputedly by any high IQ person or any uh, Dokkan YouTuber will tell you this guy is easily top 10. Even if you put him at any ranking you want, he's, top, he's a top 10 unit. So with this unit himself, just looking at his banner, the side banner is Baby. Baby is not that good, but the Gammas are pretty good. Uh, Gogeta, he's pretty much aged out. To get him, uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4, he got an EZA, but it's not all that. This Gogeta, I don't think have one yet, so it's not there. Tech Parent is pretty good, but she don't have one either yet. And of course, Trunks and Vegeta themselves are also here. So even just talking about this banner compared to the Turtleist banner, this banner is better overall. It's not even a question. And speaking of these boys here, the Blue Boys, Fizz, we know they're pretty trash right now, but people are hoping that they get an easy A with the Terminator Power units that are going to be coming out maybe uh, later this year. So maybe their easy A can really uh, pop off where they'll be able to help um, that tag a lot. So I really hope they do get easy A soon and uh, the easy A be pretty good. So if we I'll open this one real quick, so like I said, right here already. You got a potential. Oh, those are just regular easy. You got a potential easy of them becoming um, this guy right here of these guys becoming crazy. So they have, you know, both raises, but it's just an outdated kit. This is what they kit were when they released three years ago in 2020. And they're going to have to modernize modernize this kit like they did for a lot of other units where once they get their EZA, hopefully it's the 2023 treatment where they're going to be able to help the uh, Terminal Power team out. Like I said, we just got the androids, so people are looking that we may get them. So them getting EZA, that's already somewhere in the banner. That's crazy. Gamma 1 and 2 are already very good. They're not even needing the EZA. They're already very good. These two guys are already 
are better than Turles themselves. <laughs> uh, Tech Pan, she's pretty decent. I wouldn't, I would put her in the same scaling, but uh, she has her own uses. I would say her and uh, Turles could even out. I would give Turles a slight edge over her, but again, this is just a returning banner. Crazy. And Turles should be better than a unit like her because he's just coming out, you know, coming out with gotchas. Normally, the unit that comes out a year later, two years later, should be better than the unit that came out a year or two before them. But when you got older units that are better than that unit, that's that's crazy. But given that, of course, it's Goku, the main character of the, of the, of the series, he's going to get a good character anyway. But this uh, guy, he's aged out. Um, yeah, you got to take time to transform. I wouldn't tell people to depend on him. But this unit, I believe, also don't have an EZA that could get one. In the uh, future and you know this guy could probably do some heat too so this is another potential easy that's good that you know they raise attack and defense so they can have a good easy a if dokkan did them right so you already got so many units here just off the banner that's not even the featured unit that's already going to have a higher ceiling than turtles Vegeta and trunks is better than turtles it's not even no question but yeah man this guy himself <laughs> we didn't talk about him yet the banner unit himself oh my god just talking about the utility of this guy you heard truth talk, talk about it if you watch minato he said about it uh i know he haven't came to global yet but i'm pretty sure Goresh know about it of course you know he's best friend of truth and other and others you know just to mention uh i would say nigan throw my boy nigan in there you know i know he's a global main but he he knows and, and tune all them but yeah man uh just having this guy on teams and look at his categories that he can be on along with link skills. Me having his unit, and I, I've used his unit a lot. This guy is a must summon. He's a go. People telling you maybe you should go for Turtles and all this. This is a guy that you don't you don't want to really miss out on potentially. You getting lucky on Turtles just to use him for a, a couple matchups. It's not gonna be funner than using a actual Goku that actually is you know pretty good like i said this guy made the super saiyan 14 way better you can use him on power of wishes you can use him on power beyond the super saiyan uh earth bread fighters upon the parent and child etc man look, look at all these tags down here man like i said he's a 200 percent lead as well if they are gt and uh pure saiyans or hybrid or full power pure saiyans and hybrid so he's also have a good uh leader skill that you can run him with if you want to put him in the leader slot, Turtles, you're not running space traveling warriors and trying to complete a lot of contact with them. You're just not going to do that. You're just not. So that's what I'm telling you, man. Um, it'd be foolish to waste your stone, especially if someone who's a light spinner or F2P. Um, you know, I'm not here to sell you characters every time someone, you know, make a video. I'm here to tell you, hey, do not summon this character, save and, um, for this character instead because this character has already came out on JP and this is why before the global sync happen you have an option to have this foresight right now when the global sync happens there will be no foresight everybody will be summoned for the same thing and uh, you know even still I tell people you got other people who's going to summon for the unit regardless because they got to make content and they're going to make sure if the unit is good or not so they're going to make videos so even if you're unsure even when the global sync happen it just happened for the same time for everybody. So you will always see what the unit is going to be able to be done. When people do their showcases, do their runs, uh, you can see if your uh, stones will, you know, be very on there. But yeah, this guy can come out um, sooner than later. I know it's hard to not summon for everything, but as someone who have played a game, game multiple gotcha games, free to play, and uh, not having any issues with summoning, I believe you guys can do it. I know a lot of people have also hinted towards this as well. So if you are summoning, like I said, uh, good luck on pulling turtle list and maybe a one, uh, maybe a copy of a mind and raisin. I don't really care about cacao and the other guy, but those two can go together if you really just want to use them. But um, yeah, if you're not summoning, please save and good luck. So hopefully when this guy's banner come out on global, I wish you guys, you know, the best of luck on your summons. So if you guys like this video like this, man, like I said, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate, you know, everybody showing up on the videos, the likes and the comments. We do want to just get this channel, you know, to 1000. 
like I said, we just want to get more things going with the channel. That way I can do more uh, content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for your time. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.